Bait into drop. I'll take that shit. Go back. Oh. Holy shit, that was risky as fuck. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. You. Right there. Spirit again. And not only are we playing Spirit again, we're gonna make this Merciless Storm and I'm gonna show you guys how fucking clutch Surge, Scorchwick Pain Resonance, and Merciless Storm is. Dude, I wanted to use it the last time we played Spirit, but the match ended so fucking fast before you can even goddamn blink. So not only are we gonna rock the same build and see if we can get a little bit more success and hopefully not steamroll too fucking hard so I can show you guys how decent Merciless Storm is paired up with these perks. But nonetheless, you guys know what time it is. If you guys got some snacky snacks, got some cookies, lunch, dinner, breakfast, pizza rolls. Yo, pizza rolls are slap. They, they are slap? My grammar? Wh whatever. You guys want to see some plays, some mind games, some reads, and a sick-ass build? And we're going to fucking bring it before your food gets cold, because I don't want that shit to get cold, because that shit will be trash. But nonetheless, she's ready. I'm ready. I'm going to shut up. We're going to get into the perks. Alrighty guys, now this is what we're rocking, we're even a spilled for nice spirit. So not only, as you guys know, this build, or if you're new and you haven't seen it yet, this build is not only the most interesting build I've ever made, especially with spirit, but our last perk is not only ridiculously clutch once we get to the mid to late game, I'm gonna have to explain it again, but this build is fucking sick. But our first perk, Corrupt Intervention. Gonna summon that in the early game and allows to build early game momentum and you know actually allows to play the fucking game but as you guys know any early game momentum that you can get with corrupt intervention still up especially with a killer that can absolutely steamroll like spirit is gonna be ridiculously clutch so corrupt intervention early game momentum is gonna be the fucking key to our success but then our next perk score took pain resonance gonna give us vision and information and it's gonna be our main guaranteed regression tool right next to our secondary regression tool surge or joel i'm still it's so weird calling it fucking joel because i just think of surge surge sounds so much better but joel gonna be our secondary main regression or not gonna secondary main regression tool my grammar it's gonna be our secondary regression tool so not only gonna reward us for pretty much mouse wanting a survivor to death but gonna give us an instant eight percent and with our last perk this is where pain resonance and joel Coming ridiculously clutch. Our last perk. Merciless Storm. So not only is Merciless Storm pretty much going to be not one of the keys to our success. Because Spirit's ability in general is just going to be ridiculously clutch. But Scorcher Pain Resonance. The beauty with this build is that you don't need... Merciless Storm is kind of like a fucking like DLC to our whole build. Because we don't need Merciless Storm. But if we're able to use Merciless Storm effectively, it's ridiculously re uh, rewarding. So, how were, how were you probably wondering how the fuck are we going to use Merciless Storm super duper effectively? Because I didn't really get to show you guys last Spirit video because the fucking, we absolutely steamrolled like it was goddamn Christmas. But the plan is with Merciless Storm, let's say they want to disrespect me and there's two to three people working on a generator. This is where Merciless Storm is going to come in clutch because not only if I get a mouse one on a gen that's about to pretty much be 90 to 95%, Surge is going to proc. And when Surge procs, it immediately takes all the survivors off the gen that are working on it. And it's going to regress by 8%. And it's going to pro uh, proc a Merciless Storm proc, which is going to block the gen for 20 seconds. And with that 20 seconds, not only are we going to be able to pick up a survivor and be able to take him pretty much to any Scorch Hook. And be able to get a Scorch Hook Pain Resonance proc on the same gen. And be able to get another Merciless Storm proc on top of that. Merciless Storm with Surge... And Scorcher Pain Resonance is fucking absolutely nasty, especially if you have a Mouse 1 killer. Yo, I still haven't used it on Myers yet. I really want to use it on him. But any Mouse 1 killers that, that it's able to pretty much get down super duper effectively, Scorcher Pain Resonance, Surge, and Merciless Storm. Dude, these three perks combined are a fucking nightmare. <laughs> it's, it's actually fucking terrifying, especially when you get to the late game, depending on your gen placement. But then our add-ons... Dried Cherry Blossom Survivor's Trigger Killer Instinct when they come within a 4 meter range of Spirit while she's phasing. But scratch marks are no longer visible while using Yamaoka's Haunting. So, pretty much when we go into phase, we're not going to be able to ski, uh, see scratch marks. But with, if the survivor is within a 4 meter range 
of wherever we're phasing, not only are we gonna get a highlighted aura, pretty much like a Legion Fire Frenzy, but dude, if we're able to predict really fucking well and read survivors hard, pause, Dry Cherry Blossom not only is the key to spirit success at a high level, but it's so fucking fun to use. Even though the AFK mind games are gone, this add-on makes spirit fucking <laughs> they actually makes spirit fucking terrifying. If you have a if you're facing a high MMR mark uh, spirit that's able to predict, it should not make you shit your pants. But then our next add-on, Muddy Sports Day Cap. Increases Yamaoka's haunting movement speed by 10%. So not only are we gonna be a little bit more faster pretty much when we're phasing, but we're gonna be able to manipulate the audio with that 10% increased movement speed to pretty much mind game the survivors to think we're going one way and completely go the other way, or we're gonna insta phase and be able to get that mini dash and get that mini auto attack. And dude, mini auto attack? That made no fucking sense. We're gonna get a mini dash and get that extra lunge, and it's gonna be sick, especially if we can mind game super duper hard. If we're able to mind game read and create some situations that shouldn't be fucking existent, this is gonna be sick. But then our offering. Faint Reagent. Slightly thickens the dark mist. If you guys ever wonder why I use Faint Reagent, it's just because fuck it, because I don't wanna waste any of my other add-ons, to be honest. I have like fucking like 72 of these, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna use a Faint Reagent just because. Oh, goddamn, Spear, I know you're ready. Goddamn, let me. I'm just trying to talk real quick. Yo, she's so angry. Ah. She apologizes. Guys, I know you're ready. And I want to make this build work, and this build can work, and I can't wait to show you guys. Hopefully, if we don't steamroll in the early game like we did last spirit video, we can put in some badass work with this build. But nonetheless, guys, I know you guys are ready. We need to get the flesh that she deserves. And Spirit is back. She's going to be back in a big way. I can't wait to fucking make more videos on her. I think we're probably going to play her later this week, I'm, but I'm getting off topic. Spirit, I know you're ready. They're ready. We need to create some sick-ass mind games. Create some situations that never fucking should be existing on this goddamn planet. And I think it's about time we fucking do this shit. Spirit, let's do this. You're ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get into this shit. The Temple of Purgation! The Red Forest. Temple Purgation with Spirit. Dude, I haven't played this map with Spirit in a... I can't even remember the last time I played this map with Spirit. This is gonna be sick. I know they spawned towards mid, so I'm just gonna go to mid and then see literally everything. One, two, three. Had to be on my right. Either on my top left or they're on my right. Let's do this. Was on my left. Check the whole right side of the map. Better hop off. Missile storm. Storm is coming. Damn, three man on right. These guys are playing sneaky. Let's see if we can get momentum. Boop, boop, boop. Guess. What the fuck? Golem flesh? I'm gonna chase this guy then. Oh, no, wait, no. I'm gonna go back, actually, because I know... There we go. I was gonna say, I know these guys are gonna go for the, uh, gonna go for the insta heal, and that guy's over there as well. Get two injured, see if I can get this down. This guy's going to the shack. Boop, boop, boop. Is he going to the shack, or he's going back to mid? Nice, dead hard. Break this shit? I'm actually gonna wait here, hold on. My games. Oh, do I get this down, though? No, I don't. Go back. Boop, boop, boop. No! I got this down. I'm gonna go for the other pal too. Hoi! Got it! Oh, merciless storm on that gen as well. I feel like somebody's waiting. Nope, nobody's waiting. Let's fucking go. I should be able to score truck that gen all the way in his bumblefuck too for a double merciless. Double merciless, that's crazy. Mm, fuck, this is gonna be tough. But get him all compare the price of death, thick flesh. Oh. Yep, double merciless storm. Oh no, merciless didn't proc, did it? Interesting, that guy went back. Yeah, that guy did go back. I'm not gonna be able to get a surge proc. Got him instantly. I'm just gonna go on this gem then. And now you're on it. Hello? Swim first. Insta drop? Did go over here! I'll take that. I need a surge proc on this gem now. I hope this guy loops me around here. If he doesn't, ah, oh, he's not. I'm gonna hit the gen and then go back. Make him guess. I'm probably gonna go through the front door. Oh. Unless I can get another hit here. I feel like this dude's waiting. Or they could be on that gen right there. Let's see what I can do. 
Hello. What the fuck? Golem flush. Into drop. Didn't is that these guys are saving the pallets. Alright, so if this guy thinks I'm gonna chase this guy, I'm gonna go back. Let's see if this guy had back on. Oh, he went for the insta heal instead. They have to be playing the left side of the map. These might be a survivor friends too, the way they're playing. Hello. Sprint burst. Break this shit. Boop. Boop. I need to commit to a chase this time. It's gonna be tough. Boop, boop, boop. You are not in that locker waiting for me. Was waiting for me. Oh my god, that was the hardest 180 I've ever done. I'm gonna commit to the chase. I don't think this guy's a medkit, so I'm definitely gonna commit. This guy's in a really good position too, and Golden Flesh is still injured. Oh, I need to get it down right now. Is he gonna go to the window? Got him! And I get a surge proc on that gen. Wait, are they on that gen? No, they're not. It's just really... Wait, they might be on that gen. Uh, Scorcher Pain Resonance. Get him, welcome to the press of death. Was on the shen. That golden flush? Did run to my right. Hmm. This guy's playing really, really, really sneaky. Are you, wait, are you still there? I feel like... What the fuck? Blended with the gen. I knew that guy was still here. Let's see if I can get another surge proc. Boop, boop, boop. Dead arm? Did have dead arm. Surge! Let's fucking go. Double surge proc. And I should be able to get another school to pain resonance proc. Uh, am I gonna hook this guy on the ground? If I hook. Ah, uh, I should, shouldn't I? I was gonna say, if I hook that guy on the ground, it guarantees me another, uh, uh, another chase. Nope. And I get a free hit. Oh my god, this is momentum. Get him low compared to the price of death. What the hell? Uh, am I gonna be able to get that? He has dead arm, doesn't he? Doesn't have dead arm. Go back. Hello! Everybody's injured. This is momentum time. I need to build something off of this right now. Or this is gonna be bad. That guy's gonna go to the shack. I'm not gonna waste my time. I wanna know where this guy is. Nope! Another surge proc. God, that guy was behind me, bro. The reflexes. Get up, uh. Hitman flesh? Agent 47 flesh. This guy's bald. Impressive. Scorcher Pain Resonance should be procking on that gen unless they're working on the gen in mid. Get him low compared to the price of death. I feel like they still are working on the gen in mid. Hello, Golem Flesh. Are you a Golem? Oh, fuck. Am I gonna be able to get that? Hoi! Nice! Oh, let's fucking go. Get up, Golem Flesh. Bro, this momentum is what we needed to fucking succeed. And I got another Scorcher Pain Resonance proc. I need to make sure they stay injured though, because if I don't, this this match could be fucking over quick. We need to cut fucking steamroll. This is literally our key to success. Get him low compared to press of death. Where's the thick flush? Go back. Deliverance. Grass flush. We should be caveman flush. Guess. I'll take that. That's one. I'm actually gonna slug that guy because I know that guy's around here somewhere still. Yep. Did you go to the shack? Did you go to the shack. What am I gonna do? I need to create a mind game here. Fade into drop. I'll take that shit. Go back. Shit, that was risky as fuck. Oh my god, break this shit. Boop, boop. I can tell by this guy's movement that that was gonna be a little bit easier to pull off. That was so fucking risky. Holy fucking, they're gonna try to generate the fuck out of here or go for the insta heal. Get him low compared to the person. Oh, that's right, I slugged that guy. I'm gonna insta go back. I don't wanna waste time because they're probably gonna go for the insta heal. Waiting at that pallet, too. Yep, I knew you were waiting at that pallet. Insta drop me. Whoa. That was weird. Bro, am I living in the future or is this guy living in the past? Boop, boop. I'm gonna guess. Ah! Oh, risky. And that gen is fully regressed. Surge is coming in really clutch with Scorcher Pain Resonance. Boop, boop. 
They need to stay injured now. Uh, Thick Flush is gonna go for the Insta Heal on the, the Golem Flush. But I get another Skull to a Pain Residence proc. Bro, oh, this is sick. Get him up compared to the Press of Death. That guy's dead. I'll fucking take that. And I feel like... Yeah, these guys are gonna rush to mid, but I what I really should do is try to figure out where the fuck this, uh... Golem Flush... Oh, that's right, I hope the Grass Flush. I wanna know where this Golem Flush is. And then, uh, stay in a one shot standoff, because I know he's probably looking for his team to heal. On this gen? It's on this gen. Hello? <laughs> You're not blending in with the grass! Not in that uh, locker. Just in case the thick flush is in the locker. Hello? That's dead order. Yes, sir. Uh, my games. Hello! Oh no! You're dead. Get a of death! Oh my god, dude, this match is insane. This match is actually fucking ridiculous. How are we in this match right now? Bro, that uh, momentum where everybody was injured, and I know that Thick Flush is on that gem. We're about to find out where they are. It's either Golem Flush is underground, which I think he is. Get him up for the press of death. He's underground. Let's see where this guy is. Nice dead heart. That was a late ass dead heart. You're dead. Surge prop confirmed. Break the shit. Blood points. Boop. Boop. Uh, is this guy dead? I'm trying to think. One. No, he's not dead yet. And I know that thick flush is on that gym right there. Scorcher pain resonance. And by the time, I don't think she's gonna go for the unhook. I think she's gonna play super safe and not go for the unhook. Or she could sneaky sneak and go for the unhook. Get him open for the price of death. Yep. So if I had to guess, she probably ran to the shack. I'm gonna check the shack. But just in case, I'm gonna check up here. Because I feel like this guy's gonna kill himself. Ah, uh, should I? I'm gonna bait him. Three, two, one. Checking the shack. Guy killed himself. Not at the shack. This guy has to be around here somewhere. Oh, this is gonna be tough. 1v1. Ruthless killer. Yeah, I kind of figured. I think, I feel like the hatch spawned in mid. But that's alright, dude. That match was actually fucking insane. I'll take that shit. Even though we didn't get the 4k, I'm still fucking down for that. What was everybody using? I, I hope in the future, I think the 1v1 hatch standoff is... I think they should bring back pulling from the hatch because that shit was insane pulling from the hatch was literally the most entertaining thing ever but dude the fact that we even stood in that match with fucking three dead hearts was fucking ridiculous what was everybody using uh so dead hard we're gonna live forever burrow time decisive deliverance spine chill iron will dead hard dead hard decisive bond kindred interesting prove thyself bond decisive sprint burst bro <laughs> yo that match was in Sane, what I probably should have done, I didn't think that guy was gonna- I knew that guy was gonna kill himself, but I just couldn't predict the movement. I predicted wrong. But nonetheless... You go destroyed. And you failed. We'll get him next time. Alrighty guys, well that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really freaking appreciate it. If you like this video, please like and sub, and don't forget to hit that notification button to get notified when I upload. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I usually post, uh, give you guys a notification on there whenever I do upload. So definitely follow me on there. Link will be in the description. But nonetheless, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Even though I didn't get the 4K, I'll take that fucking 3K comeback. The fact that we were able to come back and keep everybody injured while they were trying to gen rush was fucking sick. And the reads and the mind games were through. Some of, some of them were a little bit unpredictable. <laughs> but nonetheless, guys, um, so by the time I upload this... I'm probably not going to be, be able to upload uh, tomorrow, so we'll most likely be able to get a video, uh, video out Monday and Tuesday. We're going to start with the Twins, and I'm ridiculously excited to get started with the Twins, because not only are we about to fucking go baby mode across the fucking map, but it's going to be sick. But nonetheless, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, and good night.